Today, Dundalk TV has the pleasure of being with my good friend, Derek Sturman. And Derek has done many videos with me about making it big and keeping it real. And we just had a friend that got a great job in Baltimore, and uh, we're very happy for him, Jimmy Mathis. And I wanted to do an interview with Derek. Derek has been very helpful for many years with Dundalk TV, been very supportive of so many things I'm doing along with the traumatic brain injury awareness. But Derek has been very successful too. And just wanted to share a little bit about what Derek's been involved with over the years. One of those things was I met Derek when he was doing Speak Your Mind at WCBM and it was a great show. I became an instant fan and we became friends immediately. So um, Derek has been doing a lot of great work in the community for many years. Also uh, volunteering to be a coach uh, for Dundalk High and uh, other, other uh, football organizations as well. But Derek has a strong passion for making films and uh, videos and just he's had a lot of success and I just want people to know that he has helped a lot of people in the community doing a lot of things um, uh, in the film industry and helping motive, uh, bring them forward, catapulting them and uh, he's played a significant role in the community. So Derek, what are you working on now and what are some of the other projects you've done and whatever you'd like to share with us, you can start wherever you would like. Um, well. First and foremost, I want to track back to the introductions. I appreciate you, Scott, uh, being there for me as long as you've been there. Uh, we've done a lot of great things together, as you mentioned. Um, so that's that's very powerful to me. I appreciate all those years of longevity of show after show, video after video. Uh, a lot of, like you said, community-based work. Uh, a lot of uh, just trying to be there for people in general. Um, also, big shouts out to Jimmy Mathis. Congratulations on the job, man. You've worked very hard for so many years to to get where you are now, and you've been in that particular industry and, and, and realm of, um, you know, being involved uh, uh, locally and outside the community as well. So congratulations, Jimmy. Um, <clears throat> as far as I go, my name is Derek Stroman. Uh, I'm the CEO of Stroman Entertainment. Um, you know, I started my company out in 2013, um, doing comedy shows in the Dundalk area, right up the street from where I live. Um, the comedy show started gaining some legs and all, and um, uh, I, I then started doing more than one comedy show at a different location. So now I was doing a comedy show twice a week um, and it was going well. Things were going fine, and uh, you know I appreciated it. Uh, started to get you know, my name buzzing around town and stuff like that. So uh, that was that was huge for me and, and huge for my company because uh, that is where it all began. Um, fast forwarding because a lot has happened in between that time or since that time. Um, you know nowadays I do primarily independent filming um, uh, for movies and things of that nature, short films. Um, feature length films, uh, and that is where I've pretty much uh, made my nit niche at, and uh, that's pretty much what um, I have engulfed myself and, and a lot of others with me in, and, and the the ability to create uh, something that's worth watching for an audience uh, such as yourselves is what is what I've been trying to do over the last few years with Stroman Entertainment as the um, the spearhead of, of that operation. So, and then, you know, Scott said it, I mean, I just, just try to connect everybody. I, um, if you're a production company in the area or outside the area and I know of you and, you know, um, somehow you know, we meet or somehow I, uh, you, you, your company need, is in need of some kind of help, well, I try to be there. And I've, I've done that for more than one production company. And, um, you know, that's it. I mean, you, you get everybody together, like minds, uh, it's a great thing because now uh, a lot of those production companies are doing pretty good on, on their own as their own entities and I'm, I'm very happy to say I was a part of, of a lot of that. So. Well you've not only been instrumental in front of the camera and, but, and behind the camera but also in front of the camera so you've done 
done different things, acting and being involved. And uh, you, you had brought me in for a couple of things, but, but because of the political nature of things, just it wasn't a good for, fit for me. And you understand that. Yes. And uh, just, but, but I greatly appreciate that you were bringing me along and, you know, wanted me to be a part of that. We've done a lot of different things together in the past. And sure. it's been a lot of fun and look forward to doing things in the future oh, as yeah. well. So, so what are some of the, you've been involved in, in you've been in movies, you've actually shot, um, uh, you've been the cameraman and whatever else, I'm not really sure to what degree, yeah. but, but uh, you know, please share about that part of what you've been doing locally, because you've had a huge impact on what's happening locally. So, well, you know, I just have a few, um, you know, good friends in the area, such as yourself, Scott. Uh, another good buddy of mine is uh, uh, John Lang, you know, otherwise known as Johnny Lang. Uh, he's a he's an Edgemere um, resident right now, and um, <clears throat> you know, same thing like you. I just try to get him involved in in a in a, in a project, in a short film project uh, that was called Reverse Freedom. Uh, Johnny would have had to uh, had to he ended up playing it, but he would have had to had he accepted the role, which he did, was that of a of a racist, which Johnny is not. So um, that's the film life, you know, playing out a character that might not be you. Um, um, so you have to act like something that is not your natural disposition. Johnny found found that to be a, a, a semi-tough challenge, but he pulled it off. It was uncomfortable, of course, as you can imagine, uh, but he pulled it off and, and that movie is is doing pretty well. Um, it's it's called, again, Reverse Freedom. The, the writer-director of that, her name is Angel. Williams, um, and just just to kind of tell you a little bit about my a little more about myself in that field, like like um, Scott has mentioned, I'm an actor. I went to school for it. I, I graduated. When I say school, I just mean it like a career center. Nonetheless, I graduated, got certified to be in TV print. That's what I do. I just I haven't looked back since. I've I've played a kidnapper. I've played a um, a, um, a, a a, a husband that um, has a transsexual child. Um, I've, I've played a zombie. I've been a zombie. Well, what else have I been? I, I've been, um, you know, other things that I, aren't even really coming to mind right now. Well, you did short films, and you, I remember Police Officer and uh, one of those uh, short short films you had. Yeah. So yeah. Well, really, it's it's just about whenever I'm needed. And I have to jump in and play a role. If, if I have to, I'll do it. You know, nowadays I'm more behind the camera. Uh, that's my thing. I mean, actually, uh, how am I forgetting Tales from the Void? So I just got finished. We just got finished. Rafe Walker's Tales from the Void is is one of the most recent things that we've shot, and that's actually something that I'm trying to get on Tubi as we speak. So. And you're working with somebody in the UK on that one, right? Yeah, yeah. Big shouts out to uh, Jay Roberts over in the United Kingdom right now. He, uh, he's a graphics designer, but he's so much more than that. He does um, a lot, lots of video edits. Um, heck, he can do animation, animation cartoons, things of that nature. He can do a lot of things. He's a well diverse um, entertainment graphics slash editor for what we do. So it's, it's a combination of all of us. I mean, you know, I've tried to assemble this team, this, this dynamic ultimate team that consists of, of you know, a lot of talented people in, yes, in, it's in, a big in, network. in this respective industry, in which you know Scott is even included in that, believe it or not. Scott is well diverse in the things that he does as well, um, from top to bottom, and I'm, I'm sure Scott can tell you that himself, because um, yeah, Scott knows I could, I could praise him all day just like he could do me. But yeah, so that's really what it's, what it's about for me. Um, it's, it's constant, it's growing. I'm getting calls left and right for more work. Um, you know, I'm hoping to get this, um, this sci-fi movie now um, that, again, this is another writer-director's uh, family, you know, that are interested in, in, in Stroman Entertainment being the production company behind their their um, feature-length sci-fi film. Uh, and that's still a little bit happening on hiatus right now. You know, I hope I just didn't, you know, let that disintegrate in front of me. But yeah, so this, that's what it's about. Uh, just trying my best to to continue to grow the company and um, be in front of the camera just as well as behind the camera. So, 
Yes. Well, you're also bringing in new talent. You're trying to help people all the all the time to, to come into the field and just anybody that has a passion for it, you're trying to help them. But well, there was a lot of success uh, with your friend that you mentioned, Johnny Lang. Yes. And um, they just had a premiere and things of that nature, and you were you were instrumental in that as well as a lot of local people. It, it wasn't. It was a huge team oh, effort. So so please. Um, Say what that movie was and uh, some of the stuff you've done and exactly where that went and where it's at right now. Yeah, so so how could I forget being the mayor in the Baltimore Bomb? So again, I play the mayor in, in the Baltimore Bomb, uh, which is a, a vigilante tale. Um, and, and we shot that, with, I guess that was like last year, I believe it was. Um, took a little while to get that done, but we finally finished that. Um, and now we're uh, James, James, McKinney, who is Johnny's son, is writing more, uh, you know, short segments to continue that series, which is the Baltimore Bomb. So, again, I played the mayor in that. Like I said, I played a couple of roles. I don't forgot some of the, the characters I played, but um, again, I'll be playing hybrid positions in that production. I'll be in front of the camera. I'll be behind the camera. So, um, that is that is what I love. I appreciate doing more than just one thing. I try to fit in, fill voids that are needed. So if something's needed here, uh, hey, I can help you out. Let me get in there. Let me hold the boom mic. Let me hold a light, you know, and things of that nature. Well, there was some kind of award. There was some kind of award uh, with that too, right? So, well, so as far as the Baltimore bomb goes, um, it was submitted to a film festival. Uh, I didn't win that particular festival, um, but we're going to continue to submit it to other festivals. So you just try your hand with these short films. Yeah, but, some, you, but, but the movie and yourself and everybody else were lucky enough, and I want to call it. So you're so everybody. You're, everybody that was involved in it, I'll call it their movie. Yeah. So everybody that was involved in it that, that worked very hard locally. They were invited, so it wasn't like it yeah. wasn't like you could just come. It was that yes, you, had, by invitation. You, you had to be accepted and yeah. and be a part of that. Um, yeah. Welcome to it. So and, so that's a huge that's that because that was like the first major uh, movie that you said done, right? Yeah. Well, to so and forgive me because I might have confused even you on some of what's going on. Well, so, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the outside. I don't know everything's going and on. That's I'm, just, why. I'm piecing things together, and I'm trying to piece it together right here with. You right now to share it with our Dunduck TV viewers, and I, and I appreciate that, and, that, and forgive me for that yeah, because yeah, and I want to congratulate Johnny and everybody, yeah. everybody that worked on it because, like I said, once again, it was a team effort. Okay, so I think you might be talking about the it's called uh, Everything Matters. Okay, um, that was a film that actually won the director Linnea Jordan and her husband Jason Jordan. They just accepted an award. Um, I forget which particular festival it was at the no, moment. You got more but, stuff going on than I even know. But, I'm right. not even aware of that right. one. <laughs> but and that's why I was telling you just to try to, I, I you know, clear that up. And, and, okay. I know you can see some of the stuff come online, you know, and you know, not really understand exactly what has transpired. So that's what that's what has recently happened. That just passed. Today is respectively uh, Monday. Today is Monday. Congratulations to everybody the third, going out as well. And this happened this weekend. So Excellent. we just won. Excellent. We won that award. That's our first uh, film independent DMV film festival award. Uh, congratulations to Linnea Jordan and Jason Jordan, the rest of the team, Baby J, everybody that contributed. Myself, uh, uh, Bob Heisler Jr. was in that. Uh, Andre Vince, uh, um, you know, just all actors that have you know come up and um, you know people like you just said that I essentially help guide into this industry. Yes. You know, I brought them in the the Jordan I'm family. Time and time again. I helped them. They were struggling in the beginning. There were some things going on. Um, I wasn't gonna let that stay that way. I came in to try to help build uh, their morale back up for, you're for the just lack of a you're better the go to guy. And, and it worked, and, and they're off and running. They got Jordan Productions right now, and they're doing good. And as you can see, they just won an award for something we shot together. So yes, excellent. Um, working on um, Black Heart right now. That's uh, another original series. Um, that writer director actually resides in, in Washington D.C. He um, again outsourced, found somebody, found Stroman Entertainment, and we're currently working on that production right now. So um, that's going on, um, and just I just. Uh, put the feelers out there for 
uh, more actors for uh, something we're calling the ward. That is a also a story um, that it's actually originally a play playwright story by Robert Garcia that we're we're turning into a film. So now I'm dealing with playwriters that that wanted to transition some of their uh, uh, excuse me some of their writing some of their plays into um, uh, movie form. So um, it's it's just. It just keeps pouring in, and I'm very, I'm very thankful and grateful, you know. And, and, and there's a starting point. You know, there's a starting point. Like you said, you went to school and you've been doing a couple things here and there. And I've seen some of the other things that you've worked on, but unfortunately, it didn't have the funding for some of the stuff that was actually I felt to be totally amazing. Um, so the the one church scene that um, yeah uh, that was that was that was Black Heart. Well, Invincible Soul was my very first movie, which. You know, borderline in the, uh, the realm of a short film. It's, you know, um, it's funny. I just looked at the duration of it I don't know, about a week ago, and it, as much work as that took, it only it ran about I don't know, less than sixteen minutes. So I was like, man, I, you know, I was telling people it's like a like a full movie. It's not a full movie. That is considered a short film, and nowadays that's not even. You need a little bit more time for it to even be a, a, a true short film that can gain traction in the industry. So, if you want to market, you know, this is for anybody interested in getting in involved in this kind of stuff. If you want to market your your production, at least push it to about twenty minutes or or, um, or more, because anything less than that, you know, they, they you can't really get it in the proper rotation that you want, such as the Tubies. You know, Tubies not Tubies not going to run something that's only five minutes long or eight minutes long. Um, so they like to see a streaming um, duration of time that is no less than about 20 minutes or so long. So yeah, it's just little things you learn, um, making sure all your stuff is, is um, has the right um, settings, right um, format for television. And you also had your daughter involved in a, a, a something you were doing too, which is she's she's yeah. the sweetest little girl, and and Derek's the most easiest going guy that that you you want to work with. Believe me, he is Thank just he, he's all he's all business. He just wants to work on the stuff, yeah. and you know even if there's complications and everything, he just keeps himself calm and cool, and, and realizes it's just a step by step procedure. <laughs> if today doesn't work, then to, there's tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, um, and, and I try, and, and, and Scott's giving me too much credit right now. I, you know, I, I I can be a little rough sometimes because he is right. It is. It's, well, it's, I haven't seen that. I haven't. Well, seen, I've never seen that. The reason why I'm saying that is because I know me, and I want everything to be as, as best as it could be, with the understanding that everything's not always going to be perfect. I get that. I've I seen just, you shake your head just, a couple of times, but I never seen you. I just want things to be right, just like you, Scott, and. Um, Oh, you know, yeah. we know that we just want things to go right. While you have everybody present, uh, sounds got to be right, videos got to be right, tires got to be right, and, and you do things in a timely manner. Um, so yeah, that's true. So so the movie that you're talking about, another Jordan production. That was two short films we we did in in, in um, sequence or whatever um, concession. Right, we did Running Lost first, and then we did Everything Matters. Running Lost is what my daughter played and that was her first film the first time she got uh, you know presented on a theater because we we do these movies and then we premiere them in theaters so you know we do things um you know we it's not just filming right and then you just throw it on youtube or let facebook watch it and say hey we're all done that's fine if, if that's all that you want to do with your productions now um you know we've grown excuse me, we've grown and we want to propel our stuff into into the, that Hollywood ranks. The Hollywood ranks is just an acknowledgement that you are doing something along their caliber with a way less budget to do it. So, so that's where independent filmmakers come in at. That's where we come in at because we're independent. We're not part of no big production company, uh, Universal, Paramount, you know, and you know, so many others. The list goes on, of course. Um, they're big companies, a lot of money backing them, um, and we don't have that. You know, we're we're working off of, you know, in-house money, things of that nature. You know, um, personal 
you know, paycheck to paycheck trying to trying to cover some of these things until you have somebody that believes in you, right? Somebody that has a little bit of money, somebody that says, I'm gonna back you, I'm gonna put this amount of you know, whatever, thousands of dollars in your, in, in your in your hands. And I'm gonna say, I need, this is what I want. And you're gonna have to figure out how to take this money that I'm giving you to budget all that out, which means you gotta get the actors, you gotta get the wardrobe, you gotta make sure everybody's compensated properly. You gotta shoot this, make sure it gets edited and put together properly, and then bring it back to me. And, and that's, that's where I'm at now. People are willing to, to take a chance on my company, you know. So where can people see some of the work that you have been involved with? Where can they where can they find that? There's a few places now. Um, you can actually um, for Derek Strowman personally, you can you can go on Facebook and see some things, of course, that I might post. You can go to YouTube, um, Derek Strowman YouTube, um, or or Strowman Entertainment Television YouTube. I'll pop up. You can scroll there. You can see all the, the I've been doing this for, what, like I said, since 2013. So you can scroll my YouTube page and just see all the different work and what I started out when I started getting better and all kinds of stuff. You can find that on YouTube. Um, you can actually see me acting in, in a film um, called, um, it's a Star City production called uh, Hell of My Life, the Stacey Stack story, you can see me actually um, acting in that. I, I don't want to tell you tell you guys what I'm doing or what, what, I, what I was or anything like that, but you can go in there, you can see me on there, and um, yeah, check that out. And that's Tubi, okay? So you can find a couple productions that I was a part of on Tubi. You can look up um, Afraid of the Dark. Okay, by Selena Polk. She's the director writer of Afraid of the Dark. That is a production that our team put together. Uh, myself and Jay Jay Roberts. We she there's somebody else who was in distress with her production, and she was um, just having a having a time. And she came to me, you know, through a connection. We got connected. She was gonna um, just just get rid of it. There just too much was wrong with it. Uh, certain things didn't pan out the way she hoped. She put a lot of time, money, and effort into it. She had one last ditch kind of feel and, and desire, I think is the best word to, to say, can I make this work? Can I turn this into a production that's worth watching? And I looked at her, I looked at some of the footage, and I said, I said, yes, I think we can do it. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna take some effort, some cut and paste, and everything that you shop you won't be able to use because unfortunately it's not good enough to put in to the final cut um, and she took a chance on me she took a chance on her production and it's, it's running on Tubi right now doing pretty good so and again that's called Afraid of the Dark by Selena Polk so Tubi's the place and that's that's what we're doing now you know trying to get on these big streaming networks Tubi, Hulu uh, Amazon Prime, Netflix, you guys heard of them, you know, they're out there, Peacock, they're all out there and they're all, they're they're not as um, unreachable as you might once have thought, like, you know, you turn on your TV, right, and you, you say, oh, well, you know, you know, I mean, I can, I'll, you know, I'll never be on there, I, I would have to be in Hollywood, you know, in order to be on one of these channels along with the, you know, imagine your production right beside a Denzel Washington movie. And you see it right there, like I've seen one of my productions, something that I had involvement in, in the same line and category as uh, somebody who who I grew up watching um, as a Hollywood star and actor. So it, it's a, it's a good feeling. I feel like it's still the beginning. Um, so I'm, I'm looking towards the future. Well, with making it big and keeping it real, you're making it. Big, big and you are keeping keep it, it real. real so and we've been doing this what for a couple of years too making it big and keeping it real telephone conversations you while Derek's at work and doing different things he has the opportunity to talk on the phone so have some interviews you'll be able to find those on Dundalk yeah. TV but how can somebody contact you if they're 
uh, have some kind of script, uh, they want to do some camera work, they might even want to do some of the lighting and things of that nature, or, or they're um, interested in doing some acting. So look, I, I have no problems giving out my personal phone number. I, I, it's free out there to, to the public. It's, I'm easily accessible. I'm going to say it on here. Uh, that way, uh, you know, you heard me say it, and if Scott wants to put it up there later, that's fine. It's my, my personal phone number is 443-552-6801, okay? And you can contact me. Uh, if you don't get me right away, leave a message. I'll respond to your message later. Uh, if you like the email, I have two email addresses you can use. The first one being Derek Stroman at gmail.com. Okay. Derek Stroman at gmail.com. Or you can find me also at email me at Stroman Entertainment at gmail.com. Okay. That's last name, word entertainment, one word at gmail.com. Um, I'm excited because I'll be introducing my my new assistant, uh, uh, Nancy Kaiser. She's been helping me out a lot now. We just acquired her. Um, I don't have her email address because it's a brand new one ready right now. But um, again, she will be somebody that uh, might get in, in contact with you or I might ask you to get in contact with, with her. And, um, you know, we can try to sort things out. So if anybody's interested in acting or doing anything like that uh, in this entertainment world, just, just give me a buzz. Give me a buzz. And just, I just appreciate the time too, Scott. I appreciate you, um, you know, even having this interview with me. Um, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've kind of put my story out there, and you know, I'm usually on the other side, you know, interviewing people. So it's 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 cool finally uh, being on this side for a change. Well, I'm delighted, and I've been with you and done some behind the scenes stuff in the past, uh, and. On some of your newer projects, um, just keep me a little informed. I, you sure. know I'm super busy, so sure. that's why I don't know everything that's going on sure. with you. But but I would love to come out and do some behind the scenes. And you know I'd like to be you know among your friends and some of them some of the people that I know. And um, then uh, and I've met some new people through you in the past, like Angel yeah. Yeah. and uh, everybody everybody there. You were talking about the racist stuff. Uh, but but everybody, <laughs> everybody loved Johnny and yeah. um, he I, I don't know um, he was maybe one or two white people on that that I knew of that, that I saw that. yeah so, so, him, so, yeah him and him and Kenny him and Kenny so, uh, so but every part. everybody loved him and that was a great atmosphere and uh, uh, Robbie at Robbie's I'm pitching him a little something now yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. was kind enough to let everybody come down yeah, and appreciate and, you Robbie's and and, uh, and do some stuff Randy and also McDead. also um, the Boulevard Diner has been very good to you thank you um, thank you Mark uh, over at the Boulevard his whole staff and everybody's been there Paige love you all everybody's been very accommodating and, and great. Poplar Poplar across the street uh, was yep, very kind yep. to you for a long time Ricky uh, and them over at Poplar and also same thing just been very supportive over the years and just helped me get grounded. And that's um, important to have the support of the community. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, big shouts out to uh, Paul Chapman and Brian Chapman, um, you know, Melinda over at uh, Chappie's Health Thorpe. It's not there anymore uh, no, by that name, but uh, they were also a big part of me uh, coming up during that time period. That was one of the second places I was doing shows. And you have Bobby Carbos coming out of uh at PA, he yeah. comes down. Yeah, he and, uh, comes so down. He commutes. Uh, I got a few people commuting great distances. I just was communicating with one, Janet Dobson. Um, she she takes she travels uh, a good distance to come be on set and and do you know she's filming with from Black Heart right now. And I just asked her uh, potentially play another role. So when's your son coming into the uh, mix? Um, I just had him. Well, I didn't have him. I had my grandson. He was uh, my son was there this weekend, this past weekend. Uh, I didn't mention. The film or anything, but um, you know, it looks like he's you know, he's starting to get ready to to want to get good. Good, I can't stuff. wait to see that. 
Yeah. All righty, Derek. Well, it's great to be with you because we don't get to spend much time no. together, no. and I really appreciate the interview, and I'm glad that, you know, we're going to get this out there. Oh, yeah. Things are going to continue. Dundalk TV continues to grow. What you're doing is continuing to grow. You know, Jimmy Mathis is doing well. Jimmy. Adam, Adam, my friend Adam, your it's friend okay. Adam. Adam's, yeah. you know, do, doing better. We're doing the journeying. A whole lot of new stuff's happening. Oh, yeah. and just, it's really, really nice. All the hard work that we've all put in is, you know, coming together and, uh, you know, we're being successful at what we're doing. Yes, we are. And I appreciate it and, you know, look forward to doing more stuff. It's, we're full steam ahead right now. Full yes. steam ahead. And we, we really need the community to kind of just boost us up a little bit and just pay attention to what's going on, all the hard work we're doing. So this is Scott Connor yeah. signing off from the Multipurpose Center in Dundalk. Yeah.